Good morning, Modern Stutters. We have a lot of good news to share with you this morning. Call move the Icelandic chicks. Oh, that's right. They're not in this chicken tractor anymore. When it got cold, I moved them in with the Icelandic chickens. Hoping that'll keep everybody warmer in the cold weather. I have to stop lugging water every day, a couple of times a day to everybody. The Icelandic chickens and chicks are all getting along nicely. The plan is here is to get the chicks and the chickens acclimated nice and well with each other. And then once we move New York City to its winter location, we can bring Rufus and all his ladies into New York City. There's Andy. We caught him the other night. He likes staying by himself though. I think it's his breed. It wasn't the other night. I lied. It was the other morning. It was very cold out. I think it was 20. And I said, you know what? I bet you he's going to be slow moving this morning. So I found him, walked up to him, grabbed him, brought him into the house, grabbed some scissors, clipped one of his wings. So now he can't fly out of New York City's city limits. The first night he wouldn't sleep in New York City. And ever since then, he's been sleeping inside New York City. I've been putting my food in there to get him to realize this is home, and I do need to go in there. But today I'll feed him outside. We'll be moving New York in the next couple of days to its winter location. And then we'll be bringing all the Icelandic chickens in here too. That's going to be fun. I think we're going to let them free range more this winter instead of just being inside of the greenhouse. I'm excited for that. I can't wait for them to get close to the house. It's more convenient when we have leftover food to feed them. I don't have to walk all the way down here to the field. It's a lot easier to water them and to give them the scraps. Pluto, you lost your bandana. Come here. Come here. We're gonna put your bandana back on. We don't want anybody thinking you're a deer. You're just a crazy dog. There. Much better. 
The field is nice and frosty, covered with snow. The chicken tractors are empty. That means our freezers are full. And it is winter here at Lumna Acres. When I have a chance, I'm gonna move all the chicken tractors, get them out of the field, set them out of the way. That way they're just not lying in the field all winter long and it looks just a little nicer. I don't wanna to have to look at the chicken tractors like that, just covered in snow with the wind blowing the tops around all winter long. So we'll move them and we'll nestle them into a nice corner of the field. We have most of the outdoor kitchen area picked up. We need to put the cooler away. We don't want to leave that out in the sunlight. Let the sunlight just naturally disinfect everything. We need to start insulating the inside of the outdoor kitchen. I have some great news I wanted to share with you. First of all, with the pig harvesting video, the first one we put out with dispatching of the pigs. There was a lot of people that didn't like the video and it got flagged and sent to YouTube and YouTube took it off and said we have to do an age restriction to it. We could have appealed it right away, but I didn't. I said, all right, it is what it is. We'll let it go on. And then there was a bunch of comments coming in from the modern setters saying how great of a video this was. They've been watching it with their kids. It was documentary quality. It was very educational. People need to know where their food comes from. So I went, all right, there's more and more people out there that feel the same way I do. So I appealed YouTube and we won. YouTube took the age restriction off of it. That's huge. To me, that's saying this is educational and people need to see this. I took this as a big win for the channel. I wanted to thank all the modern steaders who put in the comments and saying how great the video was. You encouraged me to appeal it, so thanks. Still no pigs out there, but we're going to get them in a couple of days. I gotta get ready for them. I gotta fix the feeder put the gate back up, that's all minor stuff. We're gonna need to get a lot of hay. And I gotta bring the battery out here for the energizer, but that'll take no time. And then we'll have piglets running around in the pasture again. We're looking forward to having pigs on the homestead again. This is gonna be great. We've never had winter piglets, so I'm very excited and looking forward to this. We're gonna be doing a huge giveaway here at Lumna Acres. This is going to be the biggest modern homesteading giveaway. Our bad luck is gonna be one person's good luck. We're gonna be turning our lemon into your lemonade. We're gonna be doing an upcoming video on that. I have the outdoor kitchen picked up pretty well. Brought the grill in from outside, getting ready for winter. We got all of our chairs sitting over here. We'll have to figure out where we're gonna put them for the rest of the winter, because we're gonna want to use the outdoor kitchen more and more. I'll be insulating it soon, and the outdoor kitchen worked awesome the other day when I harvested 26 meat birds when it was 20 degrees outside. If you didn't have a chance to see that video, I'm gonna put a link to that video right here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm excited and looking forward to going to get the piglets in a couple of days. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.